हेलो व्हाट्सअप गाइज आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड सॉन हाउ टू अप्लाई सी एस एस कलर्स एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गॉन सीन हाउ टू स्टाइल अवर नैव बार विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज दैट वी लर्न इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट आर फ्लोट प्रॉपर्टीज ओके सो लेट अस सी विथ वन रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल सो so here i have open flipkart.com website and on which you can see there are various nav links so let's say consider this grocery mobile fashion electronics home so there is a link for each particular section so how to how to like create this per type of nav bars with the help of our html tags and css that we have covered so yeah so we have like we are going to cover this with the help of our vs code and of course css so let us see on whiteboard how it is being implemented actually so in the previous video we had seen that uh, whatever we had seen our float property okay so float property determines like on which side of container our box should reside so let's say i have this big box okay and i have some inner boxes like this first one the second one so to arrange these boxes we are using this float property let's say this is box 1 this is box 2 okay so i am ally aligning this like box b1 to the left side and box b2 on the right side of this particular container outside container okay but in today's video we are going to see the nav bar so how how like how our nav bar looks like on real life web, uh, website so let's say this is my nav bar it's a sample nav bar and in that i am going to make let's say the home link for home page second one is about us link for about us page and third is contact us contact us link so how how we are going to achieve this so we are going to achieve this with the help of ul tag ul tag means unlisted tag and in that ul tag we are going to use this li list tag and also one property we are going to use today is overflow so what is this overflow property what what are these ul ui and li list so we are going to see all of them with the help of example so let us directly jump on to our vs code so here i am back with my index.html file so i am just opening my boilerplate code here and in index.js file like the html file i am giving the title as styling nava okay so first of all what i am going to do i am going to use this ul tag and inside that i am going to just use three or four links li tags let's say i am using four li tags so li into four and i am just going to name them as home let's say about us about us and after that we have one on the mass contact us and after that we have let's say login okay so i'm going to save this and show you the results okay so right now you are able to see the results like in this format so there is some bullet point bullets uh, like bullet type uh, circles are present here but we don't want this we want this home about us contact us and login all these links to be attached in a horizontal line so how to how to achieve that okay So first of all, we need to give styles to each of them. So first of all, I just need to write the style tag, and inside style tag, I am gonna write some margin for our root elements. So I will be writing margin, margin top actually, just to showcase you how it look like. Mar margin top of let's say ten pixel, okay, and for my ul tag. i will just give it a border of 1 pixel solid red let's say and uh, also also a background of uh any color bisk let's say so let us see how it is looking like okay so right now border and background color is getting applied okay so now what i want i want like my bullets to be gone okay so i don't want any type of decoration there so for that i need to select this li tag once 
and I, there is a property like list style. So in this list style, I am just gonna select none. Okay. After like selecting this none, you are able to see that that the bullets are gone now. Okay. So in the in the previous video, we had seen the float property. So we are gonna use that on, that property only here. So let's say for the li tag, I want to use the float and left. I want my all items to be aligned on left side. Okay, so after using this float property, as you can see, all my items are getting uh, included in this particular horizontal line, but they are coming outside our main container, main UI tag. So for that, what we have, we need to use this uh, overflow property as auto, I guess. Yeah, if I'm using auto, it will be working fine. Okay, so what does this overflow means? okay so let me show you with the help of our uh, pad itself okay so let's say so let's say i have i have one uh, box over here let's say something like this a simple box okay and i'm writing content inside this box let's say p p and we have a lot of paragraph tag cover here inside this okay and if my box size is let's say 100 pixel of height height is 100 pixel and my width is also 100 pixel but if the content inside this box is like overriding or is is just more than 100 pixel then how to control the flow of that particular data so in that case we will use this overflow property so let us see with the help of example itself okay so I am going to just use one div tag here and I'm going to give ID to it. Let's say container and I'm going to add some text inside that. Let's say this is, this is day of town. Okay. So I'm going to copy this P, P tag several times. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Okay. So now I'm going to use this id of container here and inside this container let's say i am using this overflow property overflow and let's say auto and also so i need to fix the height just to uh, see whether it is working height of 100 pixel okay i am saving it so right now you are able to see that my overflow part is working see here is the scroll bar scroll bar is coming because my this is dev town it is printing seven times so that is exceeding the size of my outer container so in this in that case we will use this overflow property so that's the use of this overflow property so i'm just gonna remove this because we don't need this here right now okay so we are talking about nav bar so right now i have my all the home about us contact and login nav links arranged in a horizontal manner so I just need some padding between in between them. So first of all, instead of this li tag, inside of this li tag, we are going to use anchor tag because we need to refer our link to some another point. So for that, I am just going to use this home home. First of all, after that, we have our about us. I'm just going to copy this add anchor tag and write about us. Okay the next is our contact us page i'm just gonna copy this anchor tag again hash and uh, paste this contact us same for the last one okay anchor tag hash and uh, name of the tag okay i'm just saving it so now you are able to see that all my tags are getting the blue line because they are like they are anchor tag and it's a default property of anchor tag that the name what we are given inside the anchor tag they will just have one underline text okay so i need to like remove the underline for that so for that i will use text decoration of uh, none okay and let's say color i want as black okay so let us see how it is looking like okay so right now it is looking fine i guess and for my ally i will give some padding let's say padding of uh 10 10 pixel 
let us see whether it is looking fine or not so i think 10 pixel is looking great yeah but i let's say i want 10 pixel on top down and 20 pixel on left right side yes so it is looking more nice so let's say i, I need to remove the border color of red i will make it black only and background color a little bit of dark like a faint color okay and i will just give a border radius of let's say 5 pixel i just want a bit of curve okay so i guess it is looking nice so in this way we can style our navbar with the help of load property but again there are some different properties also like flex flex box grid inline block so that we are going to cover in our upcoming videos if you guys didn't understand any topic let me know in comment section we will cover the uh, cover that in our upcoming sessions so i hope you guys got the idea so thank you so much for watching bye bye